You know, folks, I'm proud to say that my latest book, Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success, continues to be a success, and it's topping the New York Times bestseller list. Now, to me, that means that people want to dream big and discover the path to life's riches. Now, that's up to you. Whatever you think riches is, that's your definition. There's a survey that says riches and success is being happy. Well, all you have to do then is determine what is it that makes you happy and start down that path. Now, to find true success, I believe that you've got to do some work because it's not free. Uh, everybody would love to wake up and just be happy and bubbly, but it requires some work. So I want to share with you something from my book, uh, Chapter 11. There is no self-made man. Now, most of us want to believe that we're independent, that if we set our minds to do something, simply, it can get done. Well, I got news for you. Unless you look to others, you can work twice as hard to get half as much. Sometimes you need a partner in a deal in order to aid you along the way. There is nothing wrong with asking for what you want. You know, for a long time, I used to think that the path to success was going at it alone because I was always busy priding myself on not asking for help. I was homeless, I didn't want to ask for help. I lived in a car, I didn't want to ask for help. And I almost missed out. I didn't realize how many people were willing to have discussions with me about success. You know, most people that are successful, if you ask them for help, they'll give it to you. I'm talking about advice, principles, solutions, not money. See, one, one thing you, is not n never a good idea, don't walk up to a wealthy person and just ask for money. You know how many times they didn't got that? But if you're interested in learning how to fish, a lot of people will teach you how to fish as opposed to giving you a fish sandwich. Because they know if they give you the fish sandwich, you're going to eat it, you're going to have to come back. Right. A lot of people have helped me along the way. Magic Johnson, Oprah Winfrey, the president. I've had some conversations with some people who have it together, and, and they've taught me many things about succeeding. Now, you might think that requesting help is a huge ask, but it's not. People don't mind sharing knowledge. What is knowledge unless it's shared? If you have knowledge but you never share it, how we know you got it? <laughs> and just remember, there is no shame in wanting something. This whole world is based on wanting something. You know, don't sit up and listen to some group, you know, wanting something is a sin. No, it's not. You got to want something. The scripture says a man without a dream or vision shall perish. So the day you quit wanting something, you might as well push your chips up to the window. It's a wrap. So lose the shame and you will have access to more power. And so here's the key that I want to tell you about. Success is all about building relationships. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Some people might not step up when you ask them for help. They might not. But guess what? The worst thing can happen to you. If, if somebody refuses you, you didn't have it anyway. Well, what are you worrying about that for? Well, they might say no or they might turn me down. Ask people. You never know. Suppose they say yes. That could be the turning factor. But, you know, there are some principles that will increase your chances of getting a success. Know your worth. Don't let nobody else determine it. And don't assume anything. People aren't mind readers. They don't know what you think. And don't assume they know unless you ask with specifics. And then recognize that no is not a rejection. Every time you hear no, it moves you one step closer to a yes. Everybody can't say no. Now, unless you got a harebrained idea. <laughs> and just remember that success is about building a world that looks the way you want it to, nobody else. We'll be